Hello everybody, this is Veena, your storyteller. Today's story, Jack and the Beanstalk. The original version of Jack and the Beanstalk, the book was published in 1734 and the story was titled The Story of Jack's Prudence and the Enchanted Bean. Isn't that amazing? So I thought I might share this with you. Okay, so the, as the story goes, once upon a time, there was a boy named Jack. He lived with his mother in a tiny cottage in the countryside. They were very poor and the only thing they owned was a very old cow. So Jack's mother said, I'm worried Jack, the cow doesn't give milk anymore. I'm afraid we'll have to sell her in the market. So Jack went off to the market. He didn't want to go the long way so he took a shortcut and on his way he met an old man and he traded his old cow for five magic beans. Jack showed very excitedly the beans to his mother, but his mother was not happy. She was very angry. She threw the beans away in anger. When Jack peeped the next morning, he saw the next morning there was a beanstalk as high as the sky. Jack was a curious child. He climbed until he reached a huge castle. And what do you think he saw? He peeped from the window and he saw there was a giant, a mean giant, and it belonged to him and his wife. The giant had a golden hen that laid golden eggs. He was stunned to see this, that there was a hen who would actually lay golden eggs. Jack grabbed the hen and ran back home. Jack's mother was happy, but she warned him not to go back. That cruel giant killed your father, Jack. Don't go there anymore. But Jack didn't listen to his mother. He was very angry. He climbed the beanstalk again and this time he stole the giant's golden harp. The giant saw Jack and chased him. Jack reached the bottom of the beanstalk and cut it down. He asked his mother, mother get me an axe as fast as you can. And he cut the beanstalk. The giant fell and died. Jack and his mother and their golden hen lived happily ever after. And as he stole the harp also, which played beautiful songs, the people of the village came and assembled and listened to the golden harp. And now both of them were not poor anymore. So now children, after I've heard the story, you know, it's very, very interesting to compare and contrast. So you can make something like this, Jack and the Beanstalk, the beginning, the middle and the end, what happens in the story. You can actually write them like this, draw pictures and then you can make your own worksheet, which was your favorite character and which part of the story was very interesting, which part did you like the best. So these things will make you remember the story once again and you'd love to write and see what did you think about it. So you can also make one like this. These are lots of, you know, worksheets there in the internet. If you just go, you can find yourself. You can make your own worksheets. Who was the main character? What is the setting where it was held? What happens first, the next and last? So you can just make it like that. The characters, the setting, the problem, the solution, the magic. What was it about? You can make your own chart like that. And it will make it very interesting. So children, these are some of the activities which you can do which are related to the story. So I hope you enjoyed the story and do try to write the compare and contrast of the characters Jack and the Giant. So the moral and the theme. The theme is that good versus evil overcoming challenges and the moral to make the most of opportunities even though they are unexpected. So till we meet again with another story next Sunday and do take care of yourselves. Bye. If you like the story, do subscribe and press the icon bell for new stories in my YouTube channel, Storytelling with Veena.